Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where I hope you are ready to slip on your lab coats and your lab goggles as we get ready to mix and match the genes of even more wonderful animals. Don't worry, no animals are harmed in the mixing and matching of our genes after all, because we just end up creating the most fantastic hybrid babies ever! They're always oh so cute, um, well sometimes. Sometimes they actually turn out to be you know, creatures where we wonder if science has perhaps gone too far, but it's always an adventure, that's for sure. But welcome back to the lab, my friends, and today we are continuing with a uh, rather tame mixing of genetics, actually. I have to say, considering the fact we usually have sloths and tigers and bears and lions, oh my, hanging out inside of the lab, the fact that everyone has been so excited about seeing some simple puppers mixed together has been quite entertaining. But it's also been really wonderful because it makes me imagine that some of you guys might actually be bringing these puppies in as we fill up the lab and we get ready for even more random pets genetics adventures. And maybe there's some of yours. So if you guys ever have any of the dogs or dogs that look like the dogs that appear in our lab, I absolutely want to hear about it because it's so much fun to hear about your pets, about the stories that you have of all of the animals that have shared your life with you. And I'd also love to meet some other poodle lovers! Because today, my friends, we are going to be working with a poodle! A lovely poodle named Chrissy, who belongs to uh, one of the wonderful geneticists that I have working in the lab. And they really love the color pink. They love the color pink so much that they have actually gone ahead and dyed Chrissy pink. And personally, she loves it. She absolutely adores that time of the month when she is able to be taken to the groomer, have all of her fur nice and tidied up, and then transformed into a lovely new color. In fact, we might actually work with Chrissy in the future. And what we could do is we could go ahead and randomize what her coloring could be because I have a feeling that she is a dog who really loves to go through a lot of different stages of colors and patterns and designs, oh my. In fact, let's do that. Let's go ahead and bring her in and she was gonna start off as pink, but I kind of think that it'd be really fun. We're gonna roll the dice of destiny and we're gonna say that her owner had a sudden change of mind, which they're apt to do since her owner uh, is a little bit flighty, but known for their genius. And I just step back and allow them to go ahead and do whatever experiments they want in the lab. So I'm gonna roll the dice of destiny and we're actually going to change Chrissy's coat color the number of times the dice rolls. And after that, we'll go ahead and have her be brought in to have some cute, adorable puppers. So we're gonna change her color seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> a gray puppers! No, not the curse of the gray. I really wanted like a vibrant pink. All right, that's it. We're gonna change her color. I, I take it back. Like I said, her owner is very whimsical and we're gonna keep changing her color until she's something really bright and unexpected. So none, <gasps> purple! Yes, I will take that. So Chrissy has showed up today, different colors almost uh, every month because her owner really loves transforming her poodle. And uh, you know, Chrissy really loves being able to be transformed. Look at her, absolutely lovely. Uh, but she's going to be a purple poodle today, trotting in by the side of her wonderful owner and ready to go ahead and play in the puppy play yard with all of the others. And today, she doesn't know it yet, but she is going to meet one of the loves of her life. Little Goldie! Goldie is a brand new King Charles Spaniel Rescue who has been brought in by their owner to become a member of the genetic analysis crew. And Goldie's feeling a little bit shy. He's, he's a little bit of a timid guy, but he really has a heart of gold and he's very sweet and just wants to come and settle in with all of the other pups. But you know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and tweak this tail just a little bit by uh, tweaking his tail. We're going to say that his owner is actually one of the experts in tail genes and uh, perhaps accidentally brought something home to Goldie. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice of destiny again and we're going to see what kind of tail Goldie might end up with. Uh, saying that perhaps he ate a treat that he wasn't supposed to and it was actually covered in some of the substances that, there, that his owner had been working with in the lab. So little rescue Goldie is actually going to have one two three a normal 
Tail Tail, what the heck? Okay, the other dice says two, so we're gonna roll twice more just to see. One, two. Oh, we have a triple tail. Oh, that might be a little bit, a little bit too interesting. We'd have to change the fur for Goldie to be able to show that off. Goldie, oh, poor Goldie. Now you don't look much like, now you don't look much like a King Charles Spaniel. But who knows, maybe there's a lot of side effects <laughs> to when you end up eating a treat you weren't supposed to uh, in the lab. So we're going to keep going until we find... There we go. I think this is the closest we can get. But Goldie now has ended up having a lot of tails. Goldie, hold still for a second. I need to count how many tails those actually are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tails. <laughs> All right. So this um, genetic experiment just got a lot more interesting, even though we're working with normal puppers. So I say, but Goldie ate a treat that his owner had and ended up with seven tails. And uh, Chrissy ended up with the purple fur because her owner really wanted to change her color today. And I think this is fantastic. We might start doing small random tweaks to the dogs that we bring in just a little to add in a dash of randomness to our genetics challenge. But all right guys, under it all, we still have a poodle and we still have a lovely King Charles Spaniel ready to have some puppies together. They have met in the poodle or in the puppy play yard and you know, there's just something in the air when we're mixing and matching all these genes that brings them together. And before you know it, Chrissy actually has a litter of puppies. I don't think these two are really close together, but I think she was intrigued enough by his tail, him by his her purple fur, uh, and you know, it just maybe they didn't even end up having the puppies themselves. I have a feeling one of my lab assistants looked in, thought that'd be a great pair, and has whipped up these little ones in a petri dish. So let's go ahead and do this. Chrissy, let's go see which one of your puppies you're gonna have. Really excited about this actually with Goldie! <gasps> demon eyes! The first thing to appear is actually some demon eyes on little Callie. So this is going to be Callie. I have a feeling she's petri dish born, uh, which means that apparently she can produce dairy. You know what? I'm just going to leave it this time. Those are my custom traits, just so you guys know. Uh, they're custom traits for when I have farm animals. But we're in the lab! Weird things happen! Welcome, Callie! You're part cow, apparently. Some, some sort of gene snuck in there. Alright, so she's pretty cute. She is actually friendly, loyal, and part cow. She produces some dairy. That was an accident. Those were some extra genes that kind of spliced their way in. Wasn't meant to be on purpose. Alright. <laughs> And then we have another little puppy with Chrissy and Goldie. <gasps> what a cutie! Look at those little eyebrows! Oh my gosh, I didn't expect this one. And this little one is actually going to be Eternal. So welcome, Eternal. What a name! Oh my gosh, and look! Oh, it's so cute! You would never guess that actually it might end up inheriting like seven tails in just a second here. All right, let's randomize the traits. And Eternal, you are independent, stubborn, and a glutton. And it sounds fantastic that you have had so many golden retrievers before. Holy cow. I really love golden retrievers. I think that they're fantastic. I've, I've really been thinking about maybe one day Chips and I might be able to get one. But for now, I will content myself with this lovely little poodle and King Charles Spaniel mix. <gasps> Alicia, look at how cute. Oh my gosh, this is one of the most precious puppies we've ever had. Oh my goodness! You know what, I think working in the lab here, the laboratory, is actually a very thrilling thing because you can play with all of these little cuties! Like the friendly, vocal, independent Alicia. And we'll have to see if Alicia ends up growing up to be poodle sized, if they end up growing to be King Charles Spaniel sized, or if they end up growing up to have, uh, you know, nine tails. So let's keep going. More little puppies popping out of the Petri dish. Let me pull up a new name. <gasps> For Raven Cat! Oh my gosh! Raven Cat, look at you! You're so adorable! You are like little Alicia's just mirror image. This is so cute. A little bit of reverse on the colorations, and apparently you ended up with some cow genes as well. 
I'm not going to question it. We're in the lab, weird things happen. You're also a troublemaker who's jumpy, which sounds absolutely precious. I really love these puffies. I wonder if this is the King Charles Spaniel traits like popping up. I thought that we would actually end up uh, with like a whole bunch of like pink or purple pups, but so far not yet. All right, let's try again. Let's see what we have with this one. <gasps> Oh my gosh, another cutie! All right, and this is actually going to be Brody. So let's go ahead and have Brody come on in to the lab. Brody, you are going to be stubborn, a sleuth, and a glutton. Those are all adorable little traits, my friend. I feel like we have a lot of stubborn little ones, which is pretty precious. All right, and then finally, the last little pup that's going to just come rolling out of the petri dishes and into the puppy play yard, much to the surprise of their pair, like their puppy parents, <laughs> is Chrissy and Goldie's last daughter, Carla. Carla, I have a feeling you're gonna have a really interesting face when you grow up. I'm pretty intrigued to see how this is going to turn out. All right, and you also have demon eyes. And Carla is unfortunately a little aggressive. Ooh, you just never know what's going to pop out when you mutate these genes. A sleuth and a couch potato. So friends, we now have a slew of adorable little puppies. They did not turn out like I thought they would. Um, with the poodle coloring, they almost all ended up inheriting the King Charles Spaniel coloring. They are all adorable. Carla makes me rub my hands together with glee and hope because we might have a really interesting mix there. And we're going to have to roll the dice to see if they ended up inheriting Goldie's accidental tail tails. Hmm. All right, so let's begin with little Callie. So Callie, I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice to know if you're going to grow up with your dad's tail or not. And let's see what we have here. <gasps> Look at our poodle! Oh wow, so we just ended up with this gorgeous poodle and we did actually end up with a tail of multiple tails. So we ended up with a multi-tailed poodle. Let me see if I can find a fur that will show that off just right. It's gonna be a little tricky. All right, there we go. So Callie, this is what you ended up growing into. We had to leave your fur down. Unfortunately, we can't trim it like the way that your mother has her fur, but we have, look at all those tails. I love this. This looks like a very wholesome dog born right here in the lab with all of the unexpected mixes that you expect in the lab. So, oh, this is so fun. Callie also produces dairy because apparently a cow gene is snuck in there. I know Callie, it shocked me too. But all right, so that is our first mix. This is gonna be a little interesting with the tail. And then we're gonna have Eternal. <gasps> Eternal, what? What, do you guys see this? Oh my gosh, so Eternal did not end up inheriting the tail. Uh, and I had no idea that we would just basically have like poodle fluff on a King Charles body size, but also with a poodle head. Eternal, you're so cute. This is, this is amazing. There's a huge difference between these two siblings. Look at the little ears flat down to the head or flapping about like a little bird. Okay, we're gonna have some fun mixes here. This is really, really cute. All right, Alicia, you're up next. <gasps> Be still my heart. Alicia! She did not inherit the tail, you guys, but look at her. Isn't she so beautiful? I would never look at this dog and think, oh, this is a cross between a poodle and a King Charles Spaniel. Never. Wow. I, okay, I'm a bit of a sucker. I'm already thinking about keeping Alicia and maybe having her have puppies with the green legacy dog, Toby, because she is stunning. Just look at her. Okay, I, I'm falling in love. Let's see what Raven Cat grows up into now. Also can produce dairy. Uh, and also did not inherit the oh, oh, tail. Oh. Raven Cat, you, you didn't end up looking a lot like your sister. You guys looked really identical other than the coloring as puppies and you grew up <laughs> into something else that is adorable and precious but not what i thought i'm gonna admit it why are you so cute why do you remind me of like a little cookie you're adorable okay guys i love it i love raven cat this is a fantastic mix of genes 
Look at the wide variety that we are getting here. No two siblings have looked the same so far. Brody, give it to me. <gasps> no two siblings have looked the same so far. Oh my gosh. Brody, also you inherited your dad's tail. The heck? Look at all those. <laughs> okay, guys, this is amazing. I really didn't think that a poodle and a King Charles Spaniel, which was what the random generator chose today to mix together, would turn out so fantastic. But it has, especially with just a couple extra little genetic tweaks to play with. Uh, I'm very pleased with this. Very pleased indeed. Oh my gosh. All right, Carla, you're the last one up. And with that big old schnoz... You did not disappoint. You didn't inherit the tales, my friend. And I'm left in awe and wonder. Look at those ears. Look at the fluff. Look at that face. I am left in awe and wonder of the mysteries of genetics. But all right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me as we mix and match these puppies. I actually think this was one of the most successful mixes we've ever done. Let me know if you'd liked adding a couple extra traits to play with this time. They are indeed, uh, you know, dogs that are hanging out in our lab after all. Interesting things do happen. And let me know the different mixes that you guys have planned, because I would love to have a summer of... Uh, very interesting chaos where we have even more of these mixes and matches than usual to bring you delight during the summer days and you guys have such amazing suggestions i have been writing them down by the dozens keep them coming and we will be able to keep our lab going be sure to leave some comments so that you can become one of the creatures of the lab you never know what you will turn out in uh looking like for sure or what you'll turn into or or there's just so much so much of the unknown Roll the dice, my friends, and join us. But all right, so if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.